Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Horizon FXI. Uh, these are the three nations that you can pick. It's uh, Sandoria, Bastog, and uh, Winder. So the Bas the Sandoria top and the middle Bastog and the bottom Winder. So these are the guilds that you can unlock the crafting classes. So you can start earlier your career. And these are the special classes that you can unlock in the area as well. So we're gonna start explaining to you about the new. The, this is the classes that you we have in the game. This is the normal classes, and uh, you does the first that you can use. So, but in every class it has a a stat to help that class to be the best. And uh, for example, why may need MP, and he needs uh, uh, charisma. Charism to to help. And these are the the uh, these are the special classes that you unlock. This is very important because the 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 race helps the class actually. Like this is showing you, if you wanna be a, a tank that it has vitality, vitality you gonna need to be the Galka, cause the Galka has more vitality and it has more hit point. Taru Taru have intelligent, more intelligent, more intelligent, and they have more MP. So if you're gonna use a, a mage class, you need to use a Taru. So well, now we're gonna show you how to use the auction house. So the first thing that we're gonna go is we're gonna click on the window and then we have bid that is, is to buy. So we're gonna go and, and click what we wanna buy. Once we are on, on what we want to buy, we want to go check the price history first to know for how much is selling. And then we're going to go to bid and then put the money that we want to uh, we want to put to buy the item. Now to sell, we're just going to go and pick the item. The auction house is so easy to use in this game, so yeah, it's not a problem, I think. And that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's the auction house. How to use the auction house. Now we're gonna we're gonna go and explain to you. Um, so this is very important that you come when you go out to level up and get sign it. Sign it is gonna help you to get experience for your nation. You're gonna get some points. Um, uh, and then you're gonna be able to buy this this one. It will gonna give you some charges with experience all the time that you use them. You it's gonna cost you 500, 600 points, uh, nation points. And so, but the, to get the nation points, you need to go outside and kill stuff. It's very important that when you're leveling up, you use food. Food will help you a lot. In, in killing things like it, it, it's amazing how much how how, how much how, I mean how good is the food so uh, it helps you a lot I don't know how to, how to explain um, so yeah it, it, the food helps you a lot and so if you use it it will help you like uh, what was the name um, it, it meat meat cabots meat cabots and it's the other important thing is I use macros. You learn how to use macros for your class. You go over there and you Google a macro for the class that you are using. And that's that's going to help you to do everything faster. Like healer, really, healer, really, you really need, um, you really need the, the macros because when you're healing, you need to be faster for that. I have seen people um healing with no macros which i see they are very slow and but sometimes you cannot tell them anything because they are very special people so you cannot you cannot uh, you know do nothing so anyway so it's very important that you learn your class like like what does he do what's he good for and how is he look like because this is what uh, what are you gonna be leveling up and and try to calm down like not trying to level up real fast because there is a lot of things that you need to know in the game you know so you have to level up your class and enjoy it not really another thing that is very important to know is like uh, there are different different uh different monsters like some of them are higher level than other ones so 
like for example this uh that one was easy prey it's gonna be easy prey decent challenge like the same the same and then it's gonna be tough and then uh what's the name uh i can't remember the name of the other one but that one is gonna give you a lot of experience but you need to kill it in a party incredible tough but you need to kill it in a party so that but that's gonna be that's going that, that's gonna give you a lot of experience but you have to check them all the time because the more some there are some monsters that they aggro some monsters they are uh, passe passive and so you need to uh, check them like all that are beast a beastmen beastmen that they have like a monster that they look like an animal and they are carrying a weapon those aggro so don't get close close to them and undead they aggro everything that it has a weapon so yeah mm, animals the only if they are in cave like bats and all that worms outside they don't aggro well there are a lot of uh, well, so well, it's important every time that you get a seal when you are leveling up this seal seal uh, you need to zone in and zone out you need to stay close to an area where you can do it because this is going to be your money in the future. To heal yourself, you just press asterisk and then you go and in, in, in heal yourself. But this is very important that you that when you are farming, um, every time you get a seal, uh, use on in, on out. Uh, so that way you can make your money. So now how to make money? The money, the money maker is... A you level, a low level is going to be crystals. Like, uh, I'm gonna show you where the crystals are here. Crystals, um, the crystal like wind crystals. This is the price for wind for wind crystals, one k, which is not too much money, but you can you know you can build up yourself little by little. So this is a uh, uh, dark crystal. That crystal sells for good money. Those drop frogs drop dark crystals, and the and the fire crystal dro is dropped by um by uh, lizards, goblins, birds, and so that's it. And that's how you will be make making your money with this little with these crystals. So the next is to make is I mean the next to farm is uh uh. Behave cheap, behave cheap, behave cheap, something like that. So they go to alchemist and then we're gonna check the price of behave chips. Behave chips, uh, 6k the stack. So you can level out your teeth to level 15, and then after that, you can you can just farm them and then get them. There are, there are a lot of bees in every area in Sandoria, there are bees in in in, in Winders and Basto. Here, this the the reef, in the reef in Bastok, there is a lot of bees. That's why it's important that you pick a place where you can farm, make money. Like Winders, it has Gideus. Gideus, there are a lot of bees. Other way to make money is farming seals, like I talked to you a while ago. So farming seals, you just have to kill them. <coughs> kill everything. <coughs> they are going to drop. <coughs> when you be leveling up, you let level jobs. Make sure to be near a area, a, a area where you can zone. Once you get a business seal, you wanna zone in and zone out. Uh, they reset every five minutes, but when you zone out, it reset as 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 soon as you zone in and zone out. So that's a uh, seal farming. Seal farming, you do BCNM, which is gonna bring you a lot of money, uh, because people. Buy this, buy the um, buy the the what's his name? The um, there are some seals that you trade to uh, the burning circle where you do the BCNM and and then those you can sell them for, for money, real money. So, but you're gonna go after this ring right here, this one right here. You're gonna look Google it, where does it drop? What BCNM do? It's a level 20 BCNM. For this one, you need to level Beast Master. It's very important that you level Beast Master very, f very as soon as you can because that's gonna be your money maker. At least to level 40 because there are a lot of BCNMs and they can give you a lot of money. Now, if you level to 75, there are like 
busy number you're gonna get you're gonna get uh, like two meals three meals five meals and all that you know five millions and so that's very important like this one is the other one that you at level 30 you can do this one too it's called to 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 recall to recall drop this 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 ma this mantle right there and it sells for a lot of money so yeah if you if you wanna really be a, a millionaire you need to level up level up your your beast master so now we're gonna go traveling traveling the first one is by uh, renting a chocobo. Renting chocobo, you need to have a license, a license, a chocobo license to be able to write, write, uh, write um, a chocobo. So, so you do is called you just write down chocobo license, and that's how, that's how you're gonna find the quest. And that's what it's gonna tell. But it's good though. It's good because it will help you to get to places faster. That big walking, you know. I like. I, I would like to have my own chocobo, but in different colors, you know. But the game that don't don't let you to do that right now. So the other way of traveling is teleporting. Teleporting all the ways my dad this have this characteristic. They get they can teleport you to places and people use this to make money which I tried but it didn't work with me. I didn't get any money really. But the white mage can teleport you to those areas. So. so this is teleport them. You wanna show you where it's located? Teleport them. It's right here <clears throat> to get I'll, I'll make in the future I'll make some videos how to how to get to this to this teleport because they are very important because when I help people I ask this is what I ask first do you have the three main teleports if you have the three main three main teleport I'll help you other way I won't because it will be a waste of time you know so get the teleport first and then I'll help you so when you do the the uh, it's called um, the three keys for uh, for Kazam, and that's is better if I go I go thief and white mage. So I go over there, farm the thing is. Let's go to the next one, next teleport, and that's it. It's me, them. You use them. You use Mia. You use Hola, and those make everything easy for you. And the chocobo, it's a chocobo too. You need to be, you need to have the chocobo license. Yeah. But these are the, uh, these are the, all of them, all of, all of the, the teleport areas. So them, if you wanna get to them, you just can Google them right now. I'm gonna make in the future uh, a guy how to get to them. And actually, I don't need really, I don't really need like. I so the other one is supply quest or uh, war outpost. The war outpost all the time that you get experience in in that in those areas you get points for your nation, and if your nation wins you get this war out the war uh, war war uh, <laughs> outpost, and then I mean the war outpost, and then. Um, you, you can gain and you can do a supply quest and then you go to that area. So you just go there and you say, I want to do a supply quest. To what area? It's going to show you the areas that, that that nation has under control. And then you just can go, you just click on it and then you go to do that, that, that supply quest. I need to do one of those videos for the supply quest too. I mean... Now that I cannot really play too much, I only can play on weekends, a couple hours. I cannot really play for a long time like before. Things are not going well right now in my life. But so yeah, just go do the supply quest and then.
the supply quest. So another thing that I want to talk about is experience and and experience and uh, how to how to what to get uh, how what to get to to um, to level up faster. So you're gonna do what you're gonna do is Echo Warrior. You're gonna do um, you're going to do uh, what's the name? Uh, high wind. Is it high wind? Yeah, high wind, and um, and Echo Warrior because Echo Warrior they give you uh, experience faster. Now to make a party easy, you just need a tank and a healer. And DPS, so. and there are a lot. Of, there are a lot of like, for example, like uh, areas where you can go, and there is like a you Google it where where you can go at this at this level, and then you're gonna be able to go there. And I think that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Like this one, this is a war out war outpost too, and I gonna I gonna teleport me to my nation. You know, that's why it's very good. You need to be rank three actually to teleport yourself from from Juno so uh, get rank 3 out of the way and I'll see you in the next video take care uh, see you later